Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we are blasting Venezuela's Cathonica Typo Mantia Sacred Triarchy of Spiritual Putrefaction Cassette available on Caligari Vinyl through Sentient Ruin Laboratories Holy shit! This is one of my albums of the year, hands fucking down. It's one of the most chaotic, insane sounding Black Death albums I might have ever heard in my fucking life. Seriously, absolutely savage, savage Black Death chaos from Venezuela. Cathonica, Typomantia. Sacred Triarchy of Spiritual Putrefaction. That's a tough one. But I love the art here, and just the fact that Caligari went out of the way and made this badass, like, slipcase for the cassette goes to show you that this album doesn't fuck around. It's fucking sick. I love this shit. Noisy, chaotic, black death metal. What more can you fucking ask for? I think this has some members of Blood Soaked Necrovoid in it. Not 100% sure, but somebody said this was their other band, but I don't know how true that is. So do not hold me to that statement. But it was a good year if you're a fan of chaotic death metal, especially with a blackened edge to it, or just black death metal in general. Because one of the best bands in the game released a new full length, and that is Spain's Titan Blood, The Baneful Choir. Fuck yes. This is way more death metal than I was expecting it to be, but it's still fucking sick, chaotic as fuck, super noisy, and I love it. Like, nothing, in my opinion, well, they still could one-up Seven Chalices. It is a possibility, but... Seven Chalices is like one of my favorite albums ever, but I'll tell you right now, I do like The Baneful Choir a little bit more than I like Death, but off the Accursed Skin mini LP leading up to this, I was kind of caught off guard by this album, and it being a little bit more death metal oriented, at least in my opinion. But I fucking love it because Titan Blood's, you know, the fucking shit. If you're a fan of Titan Blood and you already know, like, what a track such as Black, Vertebr that Black Vertebrae is probably going to sound like, then, yeah, you know that In My Hands is some straight up fucking Spanish savagery in its sonic form. Evil fucking chaotic black death metal and as always like Titan Blood just one up themselves when it comes to just making their physical media kind of essential to own if you're a fan like I you might be able to have the digital download of this album but is it gonna come with this badass lyric slash art book Sadly, no. So, King Yu Abzul Ablu Zatar Habar. Hopefully, that opens some kind of, you know, black gate somewhere that's just going to turn into a dimensionless void of horror. But Titan Blood do not fuck around when it comes to the just slimy imagery, the whole entire just Lovecraftian aesthetic. There's so much awesome fucking stuff about just, to me like the mythos that surround Titan Blood are just as interesting 
as some of their records. Like, a lot of this stuff can be looked at by multiple angles, and, like, it's just fucking sick. Like, this one's upside down, but is it really upside down? Like, it, it's just amazing. The art here is fucking great. Look at that shit. It really sums up the music as well, like... This is the realm of chaos I feel like I'm in when listening to Titan Blood. So badass. All their booklets are great. I just really liked how this one was in color. But even more just gnarly fucking cosmetics here. It's on plain black vinyl. And listen in darkness at maximum volume only. Seriously, follow that fucking instruction. I kind of like this hieroglyphic keyboard type thing here. And this is the thank you page and whatnot. Super sick. Like, I fucking love this album. And the more I listen to it, the more just, you know, gnarliness you hear. And Norma Evangelum Diablo, I kick ass when it comes to being just an awesome record label. But here's the actual lyric sheet. Again, it's fucking art. It's gorgeous. And those look like some Ross Bay sunglasses, even though they're not. <laughs> but I really like the lyrics in here. They're fucking sick. Like amputated tongues and voiceless throats in the sign of shame and teeth that maim ungodly the deep sound of fathomless waters offspring of the forgotten who re relentlessly await like fuck yes that's awesome if you don't like titan blood I don't know what to tell you you're watching the wrong channel brother and sisters, for real. This is the shit right here. I like how they chose like this kind of straight up, straightforward font and stuff. Like if you didn't know any better, you'd be like, ah, oh, Titan Blood. Like <laughs> it could be, you know, like a botch record. You, it's fucking sick looking. Like, I really like how they didn't, you know, use some, like, sigil or unreadable font. They just made their label as nice looking as possible. Same thing with the back here. Like, they made the Baneful Choir in massive, bold letters. And pretty much were letting the extreme music world know that Titan Blood are back and are not fucking around. Like... Seriously, wait until you get halfway through this record because it's like an endurance test to your senses. Like, so much shit is going on at certain times that it's just like, what the fuck? Like, how are they doing that with a blast beat? And I love when a band can just take a blast beat and make it like just something completely like special when you work around a blast beat and make you know all these crazy riffs around it but don't really change the relentless you know bpms that are going on fucking i feel like that's one of those things titan blood do best is not only capture this very organic drum sound but one of the sickest fucking drum sounds in extreme music every titan blood release when it comes to the drumming is fucking top shelf gnarliness like it's not a Derek Roddy level of technicality it's like just some of the most savage bestial fucking black death blasting you're going to hear this side of Spain I guess I don't fucking know 
What I do know is the Baneful Choir is a great follow-up to death. But Seven Chalices is just that record that to me is fucking perfect. But if you are going to get into Titan Blood, I highly suggest checking out the Baneful Choir. It's definitely a good place to start. Like, for real, this is... I wouldn't say, you know, like, weaker than or than anything else, but it's a little more accessible than some of their other material from a production standpoint and from just a musical standpoint. Like I was saying, do not get me wrong, I like this more than I like Death. It's just, if you're expecting Seven Chalices version 2.0, I'm sorry, but Titan Blood went a little more death metal here and I really think it fits them fucking well and they really killed it here. It's just Seven Chalices was one of those albums that when I first heard it and it felt like a mixture of Dead Congregation and fucking I would say at the time I heard Conqueror in my head and like you know, some Ross Bay cult bands. At the time, I didn't know that Titan Blood had some members of Proclamation in it. And I kind of put the pieces together. I was like, oh, like, that makes perfect fucking sense. Except for one is like some straight up black witchery worship done extremely fucking well. While Titan Blood are a little more death metal than Proclamation. They're way more death metal honestly but when it comes to chaotic black death metal look no further than Titan Blood and in 2019 The Baneful Choir this should be on a lot of people's year end lists it's definitely gonna be on mine somewhere so I needed to get this review done I kept putting it off like not because um, you know I felt like I had something better to review or something, but uh, I've been having some problems with my turntable. It's just some speaker bullshit. Like, sometimes it only comes out of one speaker. It gets all fucking weird and staticky. So I've been listening to a lot of cassettes lately. So I do apologize. I would have reviewed this a while ago. So if this is sold out and you do want a copy, but and if for some reason you were waiting for me to give it the okay. I apologize, but yeah, this is fucking sick. 8.5 out of 10. The Baneful Choir by Titan Blood, hailing from Spain. Chaotic as fuck. Black death metal. Awesome stuff. A great follow-up to Death. Death is a great album, but Seven Chalices is my shit. But the Accursed Skin mini LP... I was living off of that for a couple months, and I love that at that release. But we were blasting Venezuela's Cathonica, Typo Mantia, Sacred Triarchy of Spiritual Putrefaction, cassette available on Caligari, vinyl on Sentient Ruin Laboratories. I need to get this on vinyl because this is something as gorgeous as the cassette is and as gnarly as this sounds on tape for longativity purposes I would like to have this on wax just so if something was to happen to the cassette this is limited to 125 copies I don't want to be fucked but this right here is I don't want to spoil too much but this is one of my favorite albums of the year, and I put this on for a fucking reason. But, Cathonica is my shit right now, but, Titan Blood, The Baneful Choir, definitely get into it. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hey.